Hello friends, I am Lakshman. You are watching Learn Programming by Lucky Sorry YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn some of the basic SQL entry questions and answers for freshers and final year students. So let us see one by one. The first question is, what is SQL? SQL means Structured Query Language. It is a language designed specially for communicating with databases. After stored data in the database, we can easily update records, deleting records, creating and modifying tables. Using SQL, it is easier to manage database systems without having to write substantial amount of code. The second question is, why SQL is important? SQL is a query processing language and it is the most important data processing language in use today. It is not a complete programming language like Java or C Sharp, but a data sub-language used for creating and processing database data and metadata. All DBMS products today use SQL. The next one is, what are the advantages of SQL? SQL is easy to learn. SQL is actually a very powerful query language and by using its language elements, you can perform very complex database operations. This is the query language will enable programmers to interact with any database like Oracle, MySQL, etc. The next question is, what is the difference between in and between that are used inside a WHERE class? The between class is used to fetch a range of values, whereas in class fetches data from a list of specified values. The next question is, what is primary key? A primary key is a column whose values uniquely identify every row in a table. Primary key values can never be reused. If a row is deleted from the table, its primary key may not be assigned to any new rows in the future. No two rows can have the same primary key value. The next question is, what is composite key? A composite primary key is a type of candidate key which represents a set of columns whose values uniquely identify every row in a table. For example, if employee ID and employee name in a table combined to uniquely identify a row, it's called a composite key. <coughs> the next question is, what is foreign key? When a one table's primary key field is added to a related many table in order to create common field which relates the two tables it is called a foreign key in the many table then what is unique key unique key is same as primary with the different being the existence of null unique key field allows one value as null value. The next question is what is candid key? A table may have more than one combination of columns that could uniquely identify the rows in a table. Each combination is a candid key. The next question is what is SQLite? SQLite is an relational database management system contained in a relatively small C library. SQLite is a public domain project developer. The next question is, what is the function of truncate? With the truncate statement, you can delete all the content in the table, but keep the actual table intact and ready for further use. The next question is, what is the function of alter? 
the alter statement permits the user to modify an existing object in various ways for example by adding a column to an existing table the next question is what is join in order to avoid data duplication data is stored in related tables join keyword is used to fetch data from related tables join return rows when there is at least one match in both table the next question is what is stored procedure stored procedure is a function which contains a collection of sql queries the procedure can take inputs process them and send back output the next question is what are the advantages of stored procedure stored procedures are pre compiled and stored in the database this enables the database to execute the queries much faster since many queries can be included in a stored procedure a round trip time to execute multiple queries from source code to database and back is avoided the next question is what is view the views are virtual tables unlike tables that contain data views simply contain queries that dynamically retrieve data when used then what is the difference between cluster and non cluster index a cluster index reorders the way records in the table are physically stored there can be only one cluster index per table it makes data retrieval faster a non cluster index does not alter the way it was stored but creates a completely separate object within the table as a result insert and update command will be faster the next question is what is difference between sql and pl sql sql is a structured query language whereas pl sql is a procedure query language pl sql is a collection of queries the next question is what are the acid rules acid rules are first one is atomicity atomicity means either transaction should be done or they should be stopped the next one is consistency data should never be in a contradictory state the third one isolation two simultaneous or preceding results should never interface with each other fourth one durability results or data should not be discarded even during a crash of the system the next question is what is transaction database transaction takes database from one consistent state to another at the end of the transaction the system must be in the prior state if the transaction fails or the status of the system should reflect the successful completion if the transaction goes through the next question is what is the use of group by and having class the group by partitions the selected rows on the distinct values of the column on which the group by has been done the having selects the groups which match the criteria specified the last question is what is the advantage of view the view can be used to hide some of the columns from a table views can provide access restriction since data ins insertion update deletion is not possible with the view views do not store data in physical location so that's all about some of the basic sql entry questions for freshers and for finally students who are facing campus interviews so if you like our videos please subscribe to our youtube channel for latest videos and share to your friends also and like our videos so thank you for visit have a nice day